hello guys welcome back to one of my tutorials i'm going to start by base painting the santorini stone um, with black it's a matte black paint from liquitex it's actually a fluid acrylic which i have recently become obsessed with um, and then you'll see me starting to prep this watercolor these watercolors are from wanda they do take a little bit to activate so i'm just really dumping on that water um, to activate it and let it sit while i paint this so I'm going to use my bottle of paint here to trace my circles. One is going to be a little bit underneath the other one. Um, these are going to be our jingle bells and just fixing up this little circle here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of this yellow ochre and a little bit of white. I'm going to end up mixing them together um, to create a lighter color. I don't want it to be completely, completely dark. Um, I end up darkening it up a little bit. Uh, just a little bit at a time. This video is going to be a lot of um, mixing while you are actually in the painting, not on the palette. And so here I am just filling in these two circles. Um, again, one of them is going to be directly underneath the other one. Um, and that top one is going to be overlapping on top of this one. So here I'm adding in a little bit more of that darker yellow, kind of darkening them up. Um, the reason I added white first was because I, I paint, I'm painting on top of straight black. So you want to bring that color out. And so I'm going to wipe off my brush and then I'm going to grab a, um, this is a, uh, what is the name of this color? It's like a, a I think it's burnt umber and a fine liner. This is a number one, um, paintbrush and i'm gonna kind of just lighten this up i want it to kind of straighten out here i don't want it to be exactly rounded out and you'll see why in a moment this is where our middle belt to the jingle bell is going to go and i'm just kind of um grabbing some white and i'm going to create that line going across the bell here i do want it to kind of pop out i don't want it to um, be just directly inside of the circle i want it to go a little bit out um, to give it that appearance of you know the outer um, rim going around the bell and so I'm base painting it white and then I'm going to grab that same uh, number one brush and I'm going to create two black dots here this is going to be my guide for creating the little openings that go in the bottom and this is just straight black I'm kind of curving them out at the bottom I don't want it to be a sharp sharp um, edge there at the bottom like a corner so kind of round it out um, as you are placing them let's rotate our rock which is something that i myself am trying to work on i don't always have to twist my neck i can actually turn the rock and i'm going to create my two little entrances here uh using black they're a little bit uneven but that's okay i mean this is just a quick 30 minute painting and then i'm going to go back in with some of that yellow um white mixture and go over that white line so you you see how it pops out from the background of that bell and i'm going to mix a little bit of burnt sienna with some of that uh burnt umber and a little tiny smidge of black and what i'm doing here is i am wiping off the excess paint on the rag and using the uh, a little bit of water on my brush to blend that color down so that it's not a direct um like a thick acrylic I want to water it down and use the paint that's on the actual line that I just created to shadow that out and blend it out. That's a, a big uh, thing that I do when I'm blending is I just use the water and leftover paint on the brush to blend it out. I'm going to go over this crease up here again. And remember, it is not a direct circle. It is um, a little bit of uh, pointed out. And I'm going to shadow it down here. So I'm adding a little bit of the uh yellow ochre in so that i have something to blend into and i'm blending uh, the darker brown mixture into it so we're going to repeat the same process up here uh, underline the bottom of your line and the top of your line and kind of blend it down a little bit over here around the corners adding in some of the yellow ochre to the bottom to make it a little bit more golden darkening that color up as we go and the top line here blend it out tap off the excess use a little bit of water blend out the color and let's add in a um a little bit more yellow here i'm grabbing a little bit of a bigger brush because that number one was just not working for me so i'm actually going in with white while that yellow ochre is still wet and i'm blending that white in 
So what I'm doing here is I'm just tapping it in, um, wiping off the excess on the rag and tapping it into the color that's already sitting there in the back. So I'm going to grab some white, tap, uh, tap off the excess on the rag and tap it into the actual yellow ochre. Don't be afraid to use your finger if you need to. I'm going to put a base of yellow ochre and then tap in some white here. And this is good just to create the bell shine and over here on the corner as well. And that's just the trick is just tap, tap, tap until you get like a nice blend. It's not just a splotch there. You are blending it into the background. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on drawing my bow here. Um, I, I honestly don't have any tips or advice for trying this other than just try your best. It's like a, it's like a bugle. If you've ever had those chips, kind of just draw that type of shape, like a triangle, uh, a fat, not cornered triangle. And I'm going to grab some, um, this is crimson red and I mixed in a little bit of brown to create a darker, deeper red. You can also mix in just a little smidge of black if you want to make it dark. And this is going to be um, the inside of your bowl. And then just on the outer layer here to the left, I am adding in a little bit of a lighter red um, to give it a little bit of depth so that it looks like it's going a little bit darker in. Just blending in a little bit of white here. Um, and then again, adding in the lighter red, blending in to the darker red. And here you can see me adding a little bit more of the darker red in so that it blends a little bit better together. I'm going to grab my um, flat, like my little flathead brush again, and then I'm going to use some red. This is my favorite Christmas type of red. Um, it's the the truest red that I've found. I'm, I'm just showing you the colors that I'm using here: the crimson red, uh, burnt umber. Um, this is light mocha, and I'm going to mix a little bit of the light mocha with some of that uh, brighter red that I got from Liquitex, and I'm going to paint in the outside of the bow and also over here to the right we're going to fill in that top portion of the bow just blend in those colors so that it's like a nice um it's not like pink but almost pink if that makes sense and then i'm going to add some white to that same mixture that i just did and i'm going to outline the bow here um outline the inner edge and then outline the outer uh, lining to the bow and just a little bit of white to that um, to that red and light mocha and so here I'm going to um, outline this right bow I'm going to grab some of that darker red mixture that I used with the brown and the red add a little bit of black and I'm gonna add two lines you don't want to do direct lines I am tapping off the color um, so that it blends a little bit better uh, I'm just creating some creases in the bow. I'm going to kind of uh, do like a little tornado motion and bring it down. I'm going to use uh, some of that white um, with red mixed in there. And I'm going to tap it in so that it creates like a little, uh, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Like a little glow in it. Using some of the leftover paint, tapping it off to... Um, Create some lines inside of that dark space. And we're going to do the same thing over here. Same technique. We're just tapping it in, blending it in. This is a lot of blending in this video. And if you guys have seen my other videos, I talk a lot. And I mean a lot about blending. Um, I'm going to create the little uh, hook here. Um, where you hang the actual bell from. And my painting is not going to make a lot of sense because I was trying to figure out where to hang the bra the the little branch that goes with it. Um, there is nowhere to put it, so I'm just going to pretend like there's an imaginary branch that I'm hanging it from. <laughs> I'm drawing the rest of the ribbon down here. And then here I'm using light mocha with some of that burnt umber. Um, putting in a little bit of that yellow ochre to create like a, a different colored branch. It's not directly brown, but it's a little bit of a lighter brown. And then I'm going to go back in with my little flathead brush and I'm going to fill in the bottom portion of that. Well, I'm right here. I'm lying right here. I'm checking the black eyes to make sure that it's activating. And then I'm going to add in some of that red mixture, um, the darker red and the lighter red to create this bottom hanging bow. Um, dark on the right, 
and then lighter on the left so i'm going to add in a little bit of white to that and kind of just blend it in while the paint the back paint is still wet um to give it like a little bit of a flow and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the green colors that i'm going to be using for the um, branch leaves um I will go ahead and list the color names on the um, description of the video. So I'm just going to grab my fine liner and I'm going to start off with a darker green here in the back and just, uh, you know, do some little branches here and there. They don't have to be perfect. I went, sorry, my son is choking over here. Hold on. Okay, so my son was choking on his milk, but he's okay. Um, and then so I'm branching out the pine needles here and i am going to go in with a lighter color i'm mixing in a little bit of yellow with some light green and also just a little bit of white um, to lighten it up and those will go over the darker green pine needles and that's just to give it a little bit of um different color dimension here we go we're just creating the little needles and then i'm going to go in with some uh, light green, light mocha, and I'm kind of using the edge of my brush to kind of create like a little zigzag motion, kind of like a little scrubby motion to just give it a little bit of texture so that it's not just straight pine needles and it looks a little bit like, um, you know, like the ones that you get from the store, the, the little decorations. Um, I'm actually going to end up using some of this gold, so I'm going to go ahead and activate it. I know my paint water is black. Don't judge me. Um, I'm going to activate that glitter paint and then I'm going to go ahead and go in with this black ice. If you guys don't have watercolors, that's okay. You can use glitter. You can leave it as is. This next step is not for you um, if you don't want to use any of the above. Uh, this is just extra because I love these paints. I love the way that the black ice looks on uh, black. Um, and the trick with these is just to scoop it out, lay it on top of your rock, and then use your brush to knead the, the um, bunches of glitter out. And then once you do that, you are golden. This is just like the prettiest glitter. Um, this is the one that I used on my Red Queen. Um, I absolutely love it. So yeah, here I'm just, you know, individually placing the, the, the big chunky glitters. And then, yeah, so I'm just using my brush, scooping it, placing it, and use your brush, um, or you can use your finger or um, maybe even a toothpick to hold it in place and kind of just knead out the knots um, and then once they're all flat, then you are all set. I, I won't lie. Sometimes with these, I do have to seal them twice with resin. Um, I, I don't know about other sealers. I don't work with other sealers, so I can't answer questions on that. But I do two, two coats of resin uh, with this. And so I'm going to use some of the holographic glitters as well that she just dropped um, not too long ago. And by she, I mean Wanda at the Foiling Rock Lady on Etsy. And I'm going to use some of this uh, red glitter too on the ribbon. Um, I didn't activate it, so I was kind of a little bit frustrated. But I went back and activated it later and then um, ended up putting it on top. So these, uh, the water does have to sit for quite a bit. Maybe like 5-10 uh, minutes and then you are set to go. They're a little bit different than just regular um, watercolors. And yeah, we're just going to add a little bit of glitter. If you guys try out the tutorial, post a picture of your finished rock and leave a comment with your favorite Christmas movie for a surprise giveaway. Thanks for watching.